All right, Alico 3, today's video, we're going to focus on an SGC order that came back uh, about a week ago. Um, here's the sheet. So I always write the date at the top when the order shipped out. So this was shipped out May 20th. It came back, I think it was September 19th. So, I mean, you're looking at 80 business days or four months, which, I mean, that's pretty drastic to where it was when I first started submitting uh, to SGC fall summer fall of 20 2018 um <clears throat> maybe it was no actually it was 29th i i honestly can't remember no yeah it was fall of 2019 so of course they've been swamped so um this has all my grades on it this is has this is used as as a reference for cards i keep or sell um say i have a card as an 8 5 or 9 it comes back at 10 Typically, that'd be a card I'd sell, so. There's the grades. I don't I don't give out a, a lot of 10s. <clears throat> and I don't think there's a, a ton of 10s in this order. Anyways, a lot of these cards are tougher sets. Um, Ultra Modern, there's some 10s, but I mean, that stuff's not that difficult. So, let's get to it. Here we go. Frank Thomas, and that's an SGC9. Nineteen ninety score. An another mid nine, so um classic classic nineties rookies. I think there's a pretty good amount of Franks in here. Whoops, dropped one. This is the uh, the hot glove from from '94 Flair. Cool insert. That's a mint plus. Leaf. <clears throat> See that uh, centering. It's like 70 30 almost <clears throat> there's a, some tops ones here a couple nines on these this is pretty much part of the course for when I send a PSA to <clears throat> this sets a little tougher than you would think that one's clearly off center from left to right the one on the right probably looks a little better um, what else we got this is like the classic t93 it's just like classic yellow I think this is a box set but this is a nine. That's kind of what I was expecting on that one. Tops Gold Jeter, eight five. Okay, this is a good grade. This is a tougher set. Two thousand one premium. It's got black uh, edges and borders. Triple Crown. This is out of 2999. It's got some slight chipping on the back, but overall, clean card. Front's white, so not, not much can happen on the front. Uh, Larry Walker Leaf snuck this in there. Thought it looked mint to mint plus, so got a mint. Pujols Fleer, 2001 Fleer Tradition. Kind of a neat card. It's got kind of a uh, retro design going on. You got the action photo, which is his face is kind of blurry on the action, and you got the up close portrait. So I'm always a fan of that style. I don't know why. Couple Bonds Down Russes. These were probably pack pulled. Nicer copies I came across. You see that top right corner? So this doesn't deserve anything higher than a mint, in my opinion. Um, and I, I probably had that as a mint. And this has a little edging. So, um, you know, it's got solid centering. But anyone that's broke boxes of this stuff knows that you. <laughs> a lot of the ones you come across are like sevens and sometimes sixes. 
they're just pretty rough. They're off-centered so bad. They almost look miscut sometimes. Here's some fleers. So these pretty much all have this. It's like the way the cards were cut. You see that white at the top. 87 fleer and an 8.5. Uh, on your top to bottom with this set, you, you want to have a decent chunk of blue coming up. So this is a little bit pushed down. You kind of want it up a little and more blue if that makes sense. <laughs> if if you deal with these sets long enough, you just get a uh, feel for them. Um, yeah, this one looks a little better, and it got a nine, so, and it's still off center, top to bottom. That that blue needs to come up. So, take a look at some PSA tens or SGC tens of that, and you'll kind of see what I'm talking about. Uh, Bonds tops. It's actually pretty tough to find a, a mint copy of this card. Um, it's very deceptive. It's just it's it's kind of tough to see you I mean you, you really have to shine it in some light to see the defects on the corners and edges because they can be tricky so I could see people sending those in and c getting sevens and wondering why they got sevens whoops um, some bonds tops traded so I'm just these were pulled from box sets I was hunting for nines you know if a 10 happens a 10 happens Slight white corner, but I thought it looked good enough to try to get a 9 on it. And then this one got a 9 too, so I can usually pull out the ones I think are 9s. Now the 10s can be a little more tricky. Um, and see how, see how the, the centering is pretty rough on the back, and I know SGC is tougher on the back centering. But this is a, a fantastic looking example. I might keep that one in the PC. Always looking at the card over the grade. The technical grade. Here's a score and a nine. Um, not bad. I wouldn't say this is Frank's toughest rookie to grade because it's all white. That's somewhat sturdy cardstock. The uh, score from 1990. Fleer update in an 8.5. You know, this is from a box set. I bought a bunch of these box sets. The center on this one is pretty good. This right edge on these Fleer 86 updates typically has chipping right there and this one is no different so it's it's just tough on some of these sets Fleer update piazza this is pretty good um the first thing I, I look at when i when i evaluate this card is the top to bottom center and it's pretty easy to see you want your two borders to match up and then the right to left is kind of self-explanatory but <clears throat> 92 Bowman. I think there's a couple of these. So some more mint nines. These were bought raw. I don't break the boxes in 92 Bowman. It's way too expensive because of the uh, the Mariana. But a couple mints. This is such an awesome pose. Action pose. No Kmart clothes. This is an, an interesting one. Um, I. I kind of like the junk wax and the SGC holders too. Of course, I send a lot of it to PSA, but I mean, maybe I'll send some junk wax to SGC. It looks pretty good in the in the black holder, but this is just a leaf based bonds card. Um, what's this worth in a mint plus? I would say it's fifteen dollars or so. You know, in a PSA ten, I'd probably be like forty or fifty. Here's some ultra moderns. There's a ton of these. I don't know what happened with these ones. <laughs> Not that a, a mint plus is tough, is bad, but I pretty much ran the table on those in the past. And I was just picking the best copy, so it might be like back centering or something weird like that. Here's some more of these. Jordan, that, that's just the base 276 rookie cut from 2020. They gave this one a 10. Um, these actually look awesome in the in the black holder. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of these. Um, and here's a couple more nines, so I don't really know on those nines. So, not that impressive with those, for sure. This is neat. 87. Bellingham Mariners card. I think these were uh, team-issued cards that were handed out at the uh, minor league games. I don't know if 
somebody can confirm that. I'm I'm sure I'll come across somebody that watches the video and knows more about that than me. Don Russ, the rookies pulled from a box set eight five. I was shooting for nine, so I just missed the mark on that one. Somewhat of a tough card to find in truly good <coughs> good condition. Pulling them straight from those box sets because they're like wrapped tightly in like cellophane or plastic and it seems like the corners get pushed in on those so I don't know how strictly PSA and SEC grade those cards here's the Don Russ um, I think it's a little off top to bottom and there's just slight white on the corner so I'd, I'd say that's fair Fleer there's a mint plus on Fleer Tops traded in mint nine. Top to bottom's off on this one. Thicker, <clears throat> skinnier. See that? If I hold it straight ahead. <clears throat> Interesting. Junk wax card. Score select 93. This was just from a pack. I, th I thought it looked mint plus or gem mint. Here's some more Fleers. This one missed the mark. This one got the nine. So decent, decent job there with these. Yeah, this is one of the the best cards in the order. So baseball's baseball's best. Donruss best, eighty nine. This is definitely a box set. I've actually got a few of these still sealed that I, I need to break open, but. This is a fun set. It's got Sosa in the uh, Texas Rangers jersey. And then it's got like uh, Bizio. Mint Plus on this one. And this 10, actually, I sold one of these a couple months ago for around $350. So there is some tremendous value in this card. And a 10 in the SGC holder. Uh, 9.5 on this one. And then the third was a nine, so I think that's how I had them graded on my pre-grade. I think I had a, a nine, a nine, five, and a ten. So sometimes my opinion matches up very close with SGCs on these cards. I don't, I don't think they do any pop control either. I, th I think they just grade the cards, which is a uh, novel concept. Jordan. <sighs> Here's some more Donruss Griffs. So here's a Mint Plus one. I think the value on a Mint Plus Griffy SGC maybe seventy bucks. And then here's another Mint Plus. So these were clean copies. Um, very clean copies. Here's the uh, eighty eighty eight Cal League All Star. This is always a favorite of mine. Um, I can't remember how I came across this card, but it got an 8.5. Next box. Basketball, John Morant hoops. Mint plus and a gem mint on those. Um, here's a Luca Donruss. This is Donruss optic actually. That one got a nine. It's a little off center from right to left. Base John Morant nine. Here's a Soto, that's the uh, Heritage High number, 502, Mint 9. This is kind of neat, this is the uh, Pro Vision from 91 Fleer Jordan, and this is a Mint Plus, so 
There's a couple of these I sent in that looked, you know, like Mint Plus or like 10. So this one just missed the mark on a 10, but a Mint Plus is awesome. Barry score. This card's been creeping up. <laughs> it's a little off-center from right to left. It's got a little white there on the bottom, bottom right corner, so... Looks like it's pretty fairly graded. Th okay, this one got the 10, so I think I had this as a 10, too. One of them just looked fantastic, so. 91 Fleer Pro Vision Jordan. This probably has some value. I'm not really sure. Maybe like 75 to 100 bucks. But I think I bought those all raw for like five. Um, Hoops Jaw. Here's some more tens on the hoops. Those have dropped down a lot since this, since they got knocked out of the playoffs. Here's a ten on the jaw again. Um, this next one was from a pack, actually. Yeah, I broke a box of this. I thought this looked good. It's got just a little sliver of white there, so I I didn't think it was gem mint, but mint plus. SP Authentic Ricky. This is the uh, future watch. All the uh, chipping you'll see on this set will be right here. And then the card pattern's different. This is all white and thick, like stronger card stock. And, and it's white, so you can't really see the chipping. I mean, you'll see dents and dings, but not chipping. So, something to consider with that set. Top Chrome. <clears throat> These are often off centered and scratched up pretty bad. So, this this copy was decent. I, I thought it looked about like a nine. So, this is the Ricky Top Chrome Refractor. Barry, Barry cards from box sets, pocket nines on these, decent job, another Ricky Tops Chrome, same thing, it looked decent, I didn't think it looked gem mint, but it looked, you know, mint, mint shape, Barry score, so I'm just pulling nines right and left, it's like a... <laughs> Nine party. Um, top right corner. Here's here's the third provision. That's a nine. Pretty good. Okay, this might be the biggest card in the order. This is Kobe flagship. It came back a ten. Um, I think I had this as a nine five. So it's it's in really good shape. It's got awesome centering. I, I honestly can't remember how I came across this. I think this was sitting upstairs in a box of cards that I I was uh, sifting through to send in, and I I bought it raw for ten bucks, and you know b back a while back these were like ten or fifteen bucks, and I think I had it as like a mint plus card that I I wanted to send in, and I finally sent it into SGC and they gave it a ten, so pretty cool little success story on that one. Clear Tradition LeBron. This card's crept up over the last six months. So here's a mint nine on that one. Not sure the value on this right now. I, th I, th I think they dropped off. Um, even though the Lakers are about to win the title. And I got a 10 on this one. So these were clean copies too. Um, fantastic centering. No like flaws at all on the back bottom corners. Is something you'll see with this set. Here's a 10 on this, so I actually got two 10s on the, the Fleer Tradition, so. No, I mean, this this is a card that if I sent it to PSA, I would be wary of it. I would think they could just hand out 9s on a card like this. It's got really good value in a PSA 10. You know, it's still decent value in an SGC 10, but just just thoughts that I have when I'm doing these submissions. Here's the Topps flagship. <coughs> Decent copy. I think I had this as, as an 8.5. They, they gave it a 9, so. LeBron flagship. Um, let's keep going here. Pretty good pace. So, they actually didn't, they, they didn't do this right. I told them for all my orders. 
I don't want the auto grid on there. It just looks too messy with those two b big numbers on there. So I'll have to send an email to them and just say, hey, I don't want the auto grades on my slabs. It looks bad. <laughs> Fred Taylor Bowman. That one got a 10. That's Gronk Flagship 2010. Decent pose. Empty stadium. That's kind of how it is now, I guess. Here's your Optic Lamar, the rated rookie, Mint Plus. That one's got a uh, perfect centering, so this is one I would think about snapping out and sending to PSA. Stadium Club Ray Lewis rookie. It's kind of an obscure card. Uh, I think I bought this. I, I got it in a lot, and it looked decent. I thought Mint or Mint Plus, so I sent it in. Bowman Fitzy. All of, it seems like all of Fitz's cards have, have gone up lately. But base Bowman, of course the flagship tops is more valuable than the Bowman. But the Bowman's a nice second alternative. This is a pretty big one. Um, print run on this, I believe it's in the five five thirty five or so. But this is the rookie ticket, Calvin. From 07, they gave that a 10. I think PSA said that was a uh, minimum size requirement. Couple of nines on the Moss scores. Um, it's decent. Here's a Bowman Chrome Payton Mint Plus. Metal Moss, 9. Not bad. Okay, we're getting into some Tom Brady's here. So this is the Fleer Mystique 2000. There is a Mystique Gold. And that one is, it looks exactly the same, but it's not numbered. This one's numbered to 2000. It's kind of hard to see if I tilt it. But that got an 8.5. Decent. This card's crept up, too. This got a nine. I actually used to, and it's got a weak corner there, so I would put this more at eight to eight five, so I'll probably sell this one. Um, I actually used to break boxes of this back in 2000, <laughs> looking for Chad Pennington. Pennington, uh, Peter Wark, Rondane. Brady was an after afterthought for sure. Here is the autographics breeze. So again, this has the autograph on the the uh, flip, but card got a mint nine, so decent. This is a strong grade for this set, <clears throat> but I don't think I had it this high. I think I had this as an eight, so it's got too much edge wear to be a nine in my opinion. So playoff absolute. To, to 3,000 so that'll be in the store okay this is a pretty big card uh bought this rod it, it looked awesome I sent it to PSA and they said uh minimum size requirement so I was like okay I'll just send it to SGC it's, it's nice to have a second option Beckett's kind of off the table for me I know that gets people I don't know, it kind of, it, it seems like it bothers some people that I don't like Beckett. I don't know what to say, really. But, this is, <clears throat> this is Mint Plus. The top right corner has just got a little bit of white. <clears throat> I mean, very, very good copy of this. So, Rookies and Stars Brady. Flagship Gore in a 9. Flagship Philip Rivers in a nine. Pro set Barry. <clears throat> I got this in a pack. It looked pretty good. <clears throat> Flagship Gronk in a ten. This is probably a decently valued card, maybe a hundred and twenty five bucks.
Couple of Vicks coming up. Here's the Upper Deck Victory Mint Plus. SPX Blue. That's actually 250 of 250. So I don't, <laughs> I'm not going to list it as a uh, one of one, but it's interesting. Pros and prospects. He's the only player in the set that has a jersey. It's kind of <laughs> random, but the, the rest of the rookies have a different look to the card, and they're, they're still out of a thousand. But for, for some reason, with Vic, they put a game jersey in there. And I, th I think it's from an actual game. Yeah. Worn in an official game for Vir Virginia Tech. It's kind of neat. Uh, we got three left, but some of this stuff's like ultra modern, so we can go through it quick. Eighty-six traded bow. Nice solid mint nine copy. Those those can be tough. Pulling those from the box sets. A lot of uh, beaters. Here's some Lamar rated rookies. So um, these got mint pluses. This is probably in the range that I I had them at. And the the question now is. Could these have been PSA 10s? And my answer is maybe, you know. They, they would be 9s or 10s for sure. But you can't really, I mean, after you submit, you can't really second guess. You, you kind of made that decision. And you, you take the good with the bad, you know, like the Le, the uh, LeBron 10s on those Fleers. I mean, that, that could be a pop-controlled card that PSA would give a 9. So take the good with the bad and move on. Tiffany Bonds, 8, 5, and 8. Of course, the Tiffany has the white on the back. And it, the front's kind of more slick or glossy almost. So they just grade these so damn tough. Um, you know, this one doesn't have the good top to bottom. But this is one I'm going to snap out and send to PSA. I think it'll get a mint 9. So they're just really tough. They're actually a little tougher than PSA on some of these 80s cards I've noticed. And on some of the newer stuff, they're like a 0.5 easier. So... Observations from lots of bulk orders. Randy Johnson, the rookies from a box set. This is this is a neat one. <laughs> Those classic Expos uniforms. Kind of ugly, actually. Here's a Lamar score. Love the score. Love the score. We got Prism. Tony Gwynn Fleer. Such a cool card. Such a fantastic hitter, too. It's sad he passed away that young. Uh, Larry Walker Leaf. This is neat. So I think I showed a Mint 9 or earlier in the order. Here's a Mint Plus, and this one has really, really good centering, so this is... I'm going to keep this in the PC. It's a nice copy. Pack pulled Tome. Mint 9. This is one that I had as a 10, so. Very, very strong eye appeal on that one. This is cool. You don't see this often. Graded in a SGC holder, this specific card. So, um, it looks perfect, except for right there. So, I, I think they got it right again. See that bottom right corner? It's not dinged or anything. It's just a little sliver of white. The uh, top, the center in this looks perfect to me from all the grading I've done on this set. So, bravo for ac accurate grading. Bo Jackson but I think the gripe with SUC is the secondary value it's not the accurate grading and at the end of the day a lot of people all they care about is the money aspect of it so PSA will get the business and that's just the way it is um, I'll still use SGC on some cards but I also use PSA for a, a ton as well 
<clears throat> right to left. This is when I was shooting for a nine on, and it got the it got an eight five. So, so so leaf probably not much value in that card in an eight five. Here's another Tiffany that I think looks fantastic. So on the Tiffany's, I think I had two of them as nine fives, and the other as an eight five. So top to bottom is not 50-50. The right to left is, I would say. There's your Tiffany. Uh, Maguire. I, I actually got a 10 on one of these back in the spring, which was pretty cool. But this one got a 9, which is awesome. Very tough set. Surface issues. Centering can be bad. Of course, the corners can be beat up. But the 85 Tops USA. Here's another Tome, pack pulled Tome. That one got a nine. Skinny Tome. I have missed 200 pounds here. Yeah. Beltray Bowman. This is always a tough one with the black. And if you break boxes of this now, they, they're usually stuck together because the way the card stock is. So it's almost impossible to find one now straight from a pack. Um just the way it is Burger King Mark McGuire I don't know it's kind of a neat card it's a uh, minor league issued card I believe for the stars maybe sponsored by Burger King I'm not sure but I decided to, to toss it in the order uh, star rookies man ram of course it's not really a rookie it's a third year but it's still cool that it has the star rookies on it that's the uh, series one. Here's a Kurt Schilling, nine five on the downrest. So, <clears throat> I've I've definitely developed an eye for this set through PSA and SGC now. Um, Schmidt downrest eighty two. This is just a a random card I got in a pack, and I I thought it looked like a, a mint plus. So Donruss 82 Schmidt. Piazza Bowman 8-5. Not too good on that one. And then an 8-5 on the bow traded, so. Pretty average. A couple more. I think there's 160 cards actually. Okay, this is the uh, SP from Series 1 2018. Victor Robles, that one got a 10. Bellinger 95s. 2017 Tops update. Bellinger 95. A random card. I don't think this is worth much. Andrew Har Bowman Chrome 2013. That one got a 10. Uh, Vlad. This is the uh, Heritage High Number. Here's a Soto. That's Tops Archives Mint Plus. Tops update mint. Here's some Tatises. So the series two Tatis mint plus. And then this one got a ten. So not sure the current value on this. I'm I'm thinking the PSA ten would sell. I'm thinking the SGC ten would sell for like sixty, sixty five percent of the PSA ten, which is kind of drastic when you think about it. <clears throat> nine five so it it doesn't really matter like is this card in PSA 10 shape I mean I would say probably yes but it doesn't matter because PSA has a lot more respect in the hobby and that's why their cards sell for more um, I mean you can argue that PSA's had problems with trim cards which is true but it doesn't really matter because it, it I mean it, it matters because it's not good but people just tend to pay more for PSA and I, th I think it's a lot of the 
investor channels that pump it too. There's a lot of aspects to it. There's the heritage high number, Vlad again, um, but it is what it is. Here's some nine fives on the Tatisas, so pretty good on the Tatis series twos. Um, not really sure the value on a mint plus of that card. All right, these Vlad updates. We'll just go through these fast because I don't think there's much value in these. I think this is like a ten to fifteen dollar card. But mint plus on these Vlads. There's just a little bit of white on that edge. <clears throat> See that one's got it too, and they give that a ten. So I haven't. I don't think it's a ten. The fifth one, mint plus. So <clears throat> not too impressive there. Uh, Jordan, some more of these top series twos. I, th I think I sent ten in, so I was thinking I would get seven or eight tens, but we, we didn't do that well. A ten and a nine five. This is a gold label, so and it's got a corner that I don't a agree with. I was, of, of course, I like to tear these cards apart. If if it's gonna have a pristine, there should there should be nothing wrong with it. And if I can see something wrong with it with the naked eye, then it's not pristine. So that'll go in the store. Cards got to match the label. Nine and a nine five. So I, I guess I sent seven of these in. So <clears throat> I'm kind of dropping off the Vlad Jr. bandwagon. I don't know, guys. He is young, but long term potential of his cards. I'm probably going to go the other way on him. <clears throat> Bowman Draft 2010 Nolan. That's the paper. And that got a mint plus. Pete Alonzo, that's the Heritage High Number, Mint Plus. Here's some Tatis, Tops, Chromes, a couple nine fives. This one got a 10. Heritage high number Acuna, card 580. 9.5 and a 10. Uh, Gavin Lux, this is just the uh, Series 1 paper. Pocket 10s. Pete Alonzo, I'm, I'm just going faster through the Ultra Modern, it's not that. That uh, interesting to me. Nine five and a ten on the Pete's. <clears throat> Pete ten again. John Morant tens. Last card Acuna tops update ten so. Solid order, tons of nines. Um, don't think there was a grade under an eight. There was an eight on that Tiffany Bonds, but for the most part, lots of nines. There's the stack of SEC slabs there. There's some PSA ones on the bottom of those. So that's it, guys. Let me know what you think of the video. I'll try to post some pricing information. I think that adds to the video a little bit, but it's harder to find SEC pricing because there's less sales. But I'll I'll see what I can do later.